Hello violin players. We will be continuing our journey with minuet one today, starting with measure nine. That's the beginning of the third line for most of you. If you have not yet watched the first video I made for minuet one that covers measures one through eight, please do that because I'll be referring to some concepts that we discussed in that video. I'm going to start with a little playthrough of the um, lines three and four. So I'm going to start at measure nine and I'm going to end at measure 16. So my beat will be about one, two, three, ready, and go. unique about lines three and four is that we have C sharps in the first two lines. We had C naturals. We had low twos on our A string. But you can see the sharps marked in that section, so that means that our C, our twos are going back to high twos, C sharps. Um, when you see a sharp in a measure, for example, in measure 10, that lasts for the entire measure. So every C that you have in this two line section, lines three and four, will be a C sharp. On our E string, however, our fingers will remain in the low two position because we do not have G sharps. So E string, low twos, A string, high twos for these two lines only. So aside from that, um, our main challenges in the third line, starting with measure nine, are rhythm challenges. We are in three, four times, so we're keeping our nice one, two, three, steady beat. And like I talked about in the previous video, if we are using big full bows on our quarter notes, we are much less likely to rush them. So the problems that I see usually involve kids rushing their quarter notes when they're playing this line. So we're keeping a nice steady beat in that section. I'm gonna just do a playthrough of that line, keeping a steady beat. One, two, three, ready, and go. All right, so notice how much bow I'm using on those quarter notes. I'm gonna do that line again. Pay special attention to the third and fourth measures of that line because that's where I see the biggest um, amount of rhythm mistakes. Measure nine. One, two, three, ready, and go. Full bows here. Let's do those last two measures one more time. Those are measures 11 and 12. Ready, and go. the fourth line might seem familiar to you. It is exactly the same finger pattern that you had in line two. All right, exactly the same. We're just bumping it all up a string. So we're starting on our E string on a third finger. So now you can see why I told you to use fourth fingers for that E and no getting away with open E's in this because you're going to need that fourth finger on your E string. You already learned the finger pattern. So we are gonna start right at measures 13 and 14. Make sure your elbow is in a good position to play on that E string. I'm going to do it slowly first. So it gets way up there, all the way up to that fourth finger. All right, so we've got our third finger on our E string. We are prepared to play a low two. So let's try that together. Ready, and go. And if you got really good at that finger pattern in the previous video, then you won't need to do it as many times as um, if you hadn't really gotten that four, four to the low two pattern going. Um, 
So let's just do that one one more time because I'm hoping that that's a finger pattern you've already mastered. Ready and go. Four, low two. Going on, we have a high two on our A string. On the um, third measure of that line, just make sure you're getting up to C sharp again. Remember this line has C sharps and the rhythm's a little different than the second line of the piece. So just make sure you're again using full bows on those quarter notes to make sure you don't rush them. All right, so I'm gonna do a full playthrough of the line of measure 13. That's line four in many of your books. Ready and go. and it's really not that bad. It's our same do, do, day, do, 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 day, do rhythm pattern. So remember we are using full bows on all of our quarter notes to make sure that we don't rush. Um, another thing about this line, this is the line that starts with 17. It's the second to last line of the entire piece. Um, we are back to C naturals. Notice that they give you a little marking for that C natural, they give you a little natural sign to remind you that C sharps are not forever. So I'm starting right on measure 17. I'm just gonna play through that line and really again here it's rhythm that tends to throw people off. So as long as you're feeling that steady beat, you're counting your rhythms and you're using the correct amount of bow for each note, you'll be just fine. Measure 17 and the rest of that line. Ready? and go. So you have seen this all before, but we're going to work on transitioning between those two lines by counting our dotted half for three full beats. I am starting at measure 17 and I'm playing through to the end. Join me if you're ready to do that. Ready and go. add a bow lift at the end there just so you have a down bow for the next line all right I'll do a full playthrough starting from measure nine just to put all those pieces together make sure you're counting on the transitions between each line because um, they can all feel a little separate unless you're really paying attention to those transitions so measure nine till the end ready and go <laughs> one. 